I'm Steve Wilkerson, and I'm with Jim Saunders, executive editor of the News Service of Florida. Jim, the Florida Supreme Court has decided to take up three cases regarding workers' compensation uh, just recently, an issue that touches a lot of people. And there was a law passed under Governor Jeb Bush back in 2003 which substantially rewrote Florida's worker, workers' comp law, and uh, it reduced both workers' benefits by a lot, but also workers' comp rates that employers would pay. Uh, but it's all back up before the Supreme Court. Uh, let's discuss that. A question is, what is the main focus of workers' comp, for those who might not know? Well, first off, this is kind of bubbly, not because the Supreme Court is uh, the Supreme Court actually has already heard arguments in two of these cases. Another one they decided last month to go ahead and, and hear. So this is kind of bubbling up, and it may become an issue during the legislative session. Okay. But the workers' compensation insurance system in Florida and in other states is, is sort of based on a premise of that workers will give up uh, the ability to pursue normal lawsuits and damages uh, in exchange for getting their injuries taken care of, some compensation for that. Sort of a trade-off is the way the system is designed. It's very important to a lot of businesses, as well as workers groups, uh, trial attorneys, medical providers. Um, there are a lot of groups that are interested in this issue. In 2003, Florida had uh, what at least the insurance industry and businesses said were some of the highest workers' comp insurance rates in the country. And under, under then-Governor Jeb Bush, this law was passed that you, you alluded to, made substantial changes in, in, the, in the system. Ever since then, uh, workers groups as well as trial attor plaintiff's attorneys have argued that, that these changes went too far, that they took too many benefits away from the workers uh, at, at the, to the benefit of the, uh, of the employers, and that that balance that was sort of the underpinning of the, of the system has, has gone too far towards the businesses. There's been a lot of legal challenges out there, and it, they take years to get through the courts. But uh, these three cases, uh, they in part address particular parts of the law, de benefit levels for certain types of injuries. And then one of the cases involves attorney's fees, which were limited in the 2003 law. But the big picture is, that, that these cases are challenging the constitutionality of that 2003 law. And if, and if the Supreme Court tosses out the law or tosses out substantial chunks of the law, it's gonna make it a very big issue, potentially during the 2016 legislative session. I, and part of it depends on when the, the Supreme Court rules and how it rules. Well, uh, observers of the court would probably say the fact that it just recently took up this third case, might be a signal that it's interested in making some changes, correct? Well, I think that's part of it, that they took up this third case. It indicates that they're really interested in this issue. But I think you also have to keep in mind that uh, the Supreme Court has a fairly, fairly liberal majority and that has sided with plaintiff's attorneys on some other types of cases over the recent years. Medical malpractice cases are, are one of the, the examples. There's been some other sort of civil uh, litigation types of issues that they, that they have sided with, uh, with the plaintiffs against the business community and against the state. So I think there's some expectation that they've got three of these cases before them and their history in some of these other cases that they're going to take some action on that 2003 law. The question is when, the question is how broad it will be. I was talking with Mark Wilson, who's the president of the Florida Chamber of Commerce recently. He said they're watching every Thursday morning when the Supreme Court releases its opinions because they're watching to see whether, you know, they're, they're anticipating that something big is going to drop one of these Thursday mornings. And uh, they all, he also indicated that they are poised and have been working on some sort of plan to take the legislature if the Supreme Court, again, throws out a large part of the law, the law as a whole, uh, you know, that the, the they're poised to, to, to start lobbying quick. Uh, as I alluded to, there's a whole lot of interest groups involved in, in, uh, in, in this issue. And also, legally, it's a very complicated issue. So 
uh, it could it could really become pretty prominent. This is a warning. <laughs> There's something that could. This is an example of something that could really burst upon the scene right in the middle of the 2016. Well, session. even it, you know it may not happen that quickly if the Supreme Court, especially by taking up this third case. You know, if it doesn't rule in the first couple months of the year, it may be later in the year, and we may be seeing, uh, depending on what they do, it may force the legislature to come back at some time later to deal with it. 